is moving without America, and we need to figure out how to make it alone without America. And that means less influence for America in the right. world. And you know what? Whoa, 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 what's the hub? Hey, I'm listening to old NPR. And when I listen to NPR, I listen to anything. Uh, when I listen to anything about Trump, you know, from the NPR people who kind of whisper like this all the time. I don't know why they always have to be so quiet, but they always whisper kind of like this. And I notice that a right wing guy's like, "Oh, he's loud like this." And Hillary. Well, what about when Obama? I know it's kind of strange, and it just goes to show the difference. There's really basically maybe only two types of people. People who respond to this. Hi, Sam. Sam, I went to Donald Trump. Try to fire Mr. Mueller. I was an outrage. Here's why I look at it. So you're never, you're never going to change people. Anybody that's already likes Trump, you're never going to change their mind. And anybody who hates Trump, you're never going to get them to like Trump. It has nothing to do with uh, what's really going on. And it has all to do with uh, identity and our narcissism. And I've been reading a lot about narcissism. And it answered a lot of my questions about the world, about myself, about you know how, the, how everybody's really emotionally driven. It's not rational. Rationality doesn't play a part. And I think it goes all the way back to that little cigar smoking little twerp, Freud where uh, he said that people are irrational. They make all their decisions based on emotion. They don't think shit through. It's all emotional. So don't try to sell them shit. And that's what his nephew did, right? Edward Bernays, didn't he take that? And then he told like, hey, big companies. Hey, forget all that talking about how the fucking car has got uh, this type of carburetor or whatever. They don't care about any of that shit. Talk about how it, uh, that car sort of means about what kind of dick they have. That's what they care about. Say, yeah, if you drive this big car, women will want to sit on your dick. Then they start selling a lot of shit. And they're like, wow, yeah, oh my God, we got to fucking go. Oh, wow, this is great. What these shoes say about your cock? Oh my God, the shoes are flying off the rack. So you're never going to get logic is never going to change someone's mind. Because their identity, their narcissism is far more important than any information or any real truth. So... It's a big fucking waste of time if you, it, it basically, anybody who listens to NPR hates Trump. Or, you all right? Am I right? Anybody who listens to the guys who talk like this and Obama, well, Hillary was a pedophile, pizza gate, the, the pepperonis on the kids' assholes. Give me a kid's asshole with extra cheese. Thank you. And another thing that the Republicans do, which I think is very smart, they really know, they've taken the time to really know the common person, right? They, they, uh, the problem with the lefties is that they're all into their little intellectual shit, you know, and they're all into their like, you know, poking holes in your little logic and they think they're so smart and we're the smart ones. And the problem is that they project that onto other people. They think other people that are all trying to think about shit and reading fucking Proust or whatever. And uh, they don't understand how people could like Alex Jones or like these. But they don't get. They just don't fucking get how many people follow that kind of stuff. And I, they cannot comprehend just how fucking ham-fisted you can be and people won't, won't be turned off by it. Right? They want, they like that. They're, that's why people who are emotionally driven and not cerebral types, they want emotion. They want somebody to be ultra fucking ham-fisted. They don't want to hear about like, this could possible and it's been alleged kind of and uh, but I want to be safe and the truth and they want to hear like Hillary's a pedophile! Now they were all fucking kids! Oh, they would lay the kids out like a buffet and then they would just be at pigs at a feed trough just eating their buttholes. Eating their buttholes and they would give money to the kids who, who could fart in their face while they were eating their ass. <laughs> That's supposed to be Alex Jones. Isn't that much more exciting than the other boring ass whisper? NPR. This is John. Take a snuckus. The Trump administration today. No one. You know that's just that doesn't grab anybody. That doesn't grab the emotional thinker. And the emotional thinker's never gonna fucking get onto that shit. 
The emotional thinker's already been emotionally charged to hate those people. Trump will never lose any support among his followers as long as the right people are hating him. That's all that matters. All that matters is that the chick with the fucking nose ring and the purple hair, who's got the the short midriff shirt, but she's fucking fat and her gut's hanging out, right? And she's screaming, you know, you know, racist, xenophobe, blah, 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 or whatever, you know. As long as that fat bitch hates Trump, then they're going to love Trump, right? As long as the little hipster guy riding the fucking bike with his beard and his tight ass little jeans hates Trump, then they're going to love Trump. That's just, that's it. That's all that matters to them. And there's no going back from that. There is no going back from that. Ever. Once you get somebody's identity to form around your line of horseshit, they're stuckered forever.